Yo, what's going on? Hey guys, your boy Point Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the best blitz in Madden 25. This is probably one of the best defenses in Madden 25 as well. And it's definitely going to help you get a lot of stops on the defensive side of things. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, and hit that noti bell so you guys never miss an upload. Today's video, we're going to be coming out of the 3 4 odd formation. This is going to be a very, very fast blitz. It's going to be something that's going to frustrate a lot of your opponents. So make sure that you guys are getting your quick adjustments down pat because once you start to get dotted by against this, against this defense it's going to be something that you have to adjust out of just in case that you know your opponent starts taking the top off you know little by little so we're going to be coming out of three four odd it's three four odd you can find it in any three four playbook pretty much so i'm not going to go over the playbooks but i will try to leave a link in the description so you guys can find the playbook for yourselves now the only thing that you guys really have to do is make sure that you guys have two speedsters here and here at the outside linebacker positions as you can see we have tj watt on the outside but for this blitz specifically, you're going to want to have your faster linebacker on the left side. The left side gets more pressure for some reason, so that's exactly why we're going to send it that way. Now, for coaching adjustments, you're going to turn your auto flip off. That's it. That's all you're going to need to do because we're going to send this 3-4 odd mainly from the left side. So you see how there's a blitzing linebacker, the middle linebacker specifically. You want that blitzing linebacker to be on the left side, and your user is going to stay pretty much exactly where he's at now one thing that you guys can do is you can go into the cover zero shell if you guys want to if you guys are looking at the the at the at the bottom screen you can change your shell coverages so we're going to go into a cover zero shell while we're using a default auto alignment which is exactly how we want it and then we're going to call the play now on the offensive side doesn't really matter what you call because they can't really block this unless they unless they block Pretty much the tight end and the running back and sometimes it, 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 it you can part you can you can block it with the tight end but it is a it's just one of those blitzes that's very very difficult to block so i'm just going to come out and mesh spot out of this gun tight formation and just like most of the other blitzes that we post on the channel we want them to be as fast as possible and as easy to set up so as soon as you come out of the huddle just take your user which is going to be the opposite middle linebacker and just hover above that left side linebacker that's already blitzing okay once you start making a bunch of adjustments as you can see nothing changes with the actual d line or the linebackers so again you can send it however you guys want and then as soon as you call hike you're going to end up getting crazy crazy pressure off of the edge from time to time you'll get that dual pressure that comes in from the opposite side as well and when that happens there's really not much that your opponent can do but again you have to do your job and as you can see boom we get the dual pressure there so you guys have to make sure it's coming from the left side for some reason the right side just doesn't come in as consistent the left side comes in almost every single time especially especially if you have your your adjustments and yes r1 is open but because you don't have to make that many adjustments in this defense something that you guys can easily do is do something like this where you got a soft squat out there in a deep zone and all of a sudden now your opponent is going to be shook because now you're playing half the side as man coverage and the other half side boom and look at look at the coverages that are just the coverage on it is just absolutely pretty much they can't move there's it's very very difficult to move because you have to make a split second a split second decision just in case that blitz is coming in and as you can see everything is clamped up nothing is open by the time that the quarterback has to throw the ball he's already being sacked and everything is clamped up there's no routes on the field that are good so as soon as you come out of the huddle this is the only play that you can really do this out of because you want the angling of the linebackers to be exactly where they are so one thing that you guys can do is pretty much turn it into a cover two uh just to kind of help you guys out and make it so that your opponent has to adjust to what it is that you're doing instead of thinking that it's man coverage every single play this is going to be one of the best defenses that you guys can rock in the game now besides this this is something that i personally like to do and i'm going to call time out just to showcase it to you this is something that helps with the defense if you guys are starting to get dotted up is make sure that when you guys are going into your audibles put your audibles and put a cover four there a cover four a cover six anything that is going to confuse your opponent to make a horrible terrible read that's exactly what we want to do especially if you're good at switch sticking I personally like to have cover four quarters in in my alignment so that as soon as I come out of the huddle, I'm calling pinch buck O so that the alignment is exactly the same. But as soon as I come out of the huddle, I'll audible sometimes into that into that cover four and then pretty much 
assign everybody exactly the same way because as you can see this linebacker stays down which is something that not a lot of people know that but as soon as you audible into that cover four that linebacker stays down and then all of a sudden you can play your defense exactly how it is that you want and you're disguising your defense so that your opponent never knows what's coming so he still thinks that a blitz is coming but in reality we're only sending three people here now which going from sending six people to sending three people is a surefire way to make your to like kind of force your opponent to make a horrible mistake so now that we did that it looks exactly the same but now as you can see everything is pretty much clamped up there's nothing open and then we end up getting a coverage sack this is something that's huge and it's something that you guys need to learn how to do is disguise your coverages better because it's, it will just help you pretty much play a little bit better now one thing that I do want to showcase is if we block the running back, you're going to hover. As soon as you block the running back, it's going to be the same result. You're still going to scream in, you're still going to hum, and it's going to be very, very frustrating for your opponent. So again, this is one of those blitzes that you you can't really slide. I'm going to, I'm going to full slide to the left side, see if we can get, see, see if we can block it fully. We're full sliding to the left. And again, now we got we got dual pressure coming from the right side. Again, you can't block the blitz. So again, step it up on your field. Put it on your field. If you're rocking a playbook with three, four odd, please try it. It is one of the easiest, one of the best defenses that you guys can run in the game, especially if you guys get your quick adjustments pretty much right down pat. My name is Tony Montana. Hopefully you guys add this to your defensive scheme if you guys already have it and you guys have a better way of sending it let me know down in the comment section below and uh, i'll try to check it out myself and if it's something that i can post on the channel i'll give you the credit obviously and uh yeah well, we might post it who, who knows my name is Pony montana i'll see you guys in the next one and as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys